We've all had the sour and wet burps where it feels like undigested food is backing up into your throat or mouth, leaving an extremely sour and bitter taste, sometimes even accompanied by chest pain. Not a lovely experience, I know. This is a typical symptom of acid reflux. Today we'll learn about what is acid reflux and what we can do to prevent it. I'm Nurse Wong, and this is Bug Talks. Here's how acid reflux works. There's a ring of muscles called the cardiac sphincter that works like a valve at the entrance of your stomach. Normally, this muscle closes as soon as food passes through it. When you experience acid reflux, the muscle doesn't close all the way or it opens up too often and the acid content in your stomach flows up into your esophagus. That's the main reason for the sour and wet burps as we discussed earlier. Besides these burps, you might also experience heartburn, a burning pain in your chest, sensation of food stuck in your throat, bloating and nausea and vomiting. Acid reflux is quite common and anyone at any age can develop it. Pregnant women also have a higher likelihood of having acid reflux because of the increased pressure on the stomach as the baby grows. Here are some tips I recommend to manage acid reflux. Number one, eat smaller meals and eat slowly. Acid reflux is a result of eating heavy and large meals because they are harder to digest. Try to break down your meals into smaller portions. Make sure to eat slowly. Chew your food well so it's less work on your tummy. One piece of advice is to chew your food around 32 times before swallowing. Give it a try and see how many times you can chew your food. Besides relieving acid reflux, eating smaller meals slowly has many extra benefits. You can enjoy the taste of your food more and your body can absorb nutrients better. Eating should be a pleasant experience, so try to take it nice and slow your digestive system will thank you. Number two, avoid certain foods and drinks. Certain foods and drinks are more likely to trigger reflux than others. These include fatty foods such as fried, spicy, chocolate or dairy, acidic foods like oranges and tomatoes, peppermint, drinks that irritate your stomach like coffee, tea, alcohol, carbonated drinks and acidic juices. Does that mean I can't have these foods and drinks anymore? Not necessarily. Relieving acid reflux doesn't mean having the blandest foods and drinks. Everyone reacts to them differently. You can eliminate them from your diet first to see if your symptoms improve. Then add them back one by one and see how your body reacts. You will learn what works for you and what doesn't. If you really can't abstain, try to consume smaller portions in moderation. Check out our spicy food video on the prevention of spicy food reflux. Number three, stay upright after meals. I'm sure laying down after eating happens more often than you think. Since many of us are home due to COVID, it's so irresistible to take a big fat nap after your meal. Trust me, I'm guilty of it too. However, to prevent acid reflux, we need to stay upright after we eat. That's because gravity alone can help keep acid in your stomach where it belongs, making it less likely to rush up to your throat. Eat at least two to three hours before laying down. Finish dinner at least three hours before you go to bed. You can use wedge pillows to elevate your head if you want to take a nap right after eating. I'll leave a link to my favorite wedge pillows in the description below. Also, if you exercise or move too quickly after eating, you might disturb your stomach and trigger acid reflux. An after meal stroll is totally fine, but avoid strenuous workouts, especially if they include bending, jumping, or running. Number four, change your lifestyle. Quit smoking. 
Since nicotine relaxes your cardiac sphincter muscle, preventing it from working properly. Wear comfortable loose clothes. Avoid clothing that's too tight around your waist, although I bet you are watching this video in your PJs. If you're obese, take steps to lose weight. Extra body weight can decrease the pressure that keeps the cardiac sphincter closed, making acid reflux more likely to happen. Number five, check your medications. Some medications are more likely to trigger acid reflux. These include meds that can relax your cardiac sphincter muscle, such as postmenopausal estrogen, tricyclic antidepressants, and anti-inflammatory painkillers or meds that have bisphosphonate since they can irritate your esophagus. Check with your medical provider to see if your medications may be triggering acid reflux. Bonus tips. These are the supplements and medications that I use personally to relieve acid reflux. Disclaimer, I am not sponsored by any of these companies. These are my personal opinion I have experienced from many years of GI nursing. I will also leave a link in the description below. Soluble fiber like psyllium husk can absorb acid and acts like a cushion. Tums. The calcium in Tums is a base that neutralizes the acid to reduce reflux. Proton pump inhibitors, such as Nexium or Prilosec, can block or reduce the acidity in the stomach lining. Take any of these around 30 minutes before eating on an empty stomach. There are some more serious forms of acid reflux, such as acid reflux disease and gastroesophageal reflux disease or chronic acid reflux. If you experience heartburn or acid reflux more than once a week, or your symptoms become more severe over time, talk to a GI specialist about treatment options. Let us know if you find this video helpful. Please like and subscribe for more videos. Comment below and tell us what you want to see next. Good luck! If you like our video, press the like button below. Comment on what you would like to learn about next. For more tips and tricks from Butt Talks, subscribe to our channel. Have a great poop day!